What's up guys, Chris Chavez here with Fandra.com. We're here at NVIDIA's booth at Mobile World Congress 2013 taking a look at the NVIDIA Tegra 4 reference tablet. So this is a tablet that NVIDIA came up with or made to kind of showcase the power of the NVIDIA Tegra 4 processor. Just giving it a brief little roundabout. And we're going to check out some of the new Tegra 4 optimized games that they have available for it. Mr. Edgar Cervantes here is going to be uh, taking over the controls for this and we're going to see you know, just some of the graphics and the graphical performance of the NVIDIA Tegra 4 processor. The screen's a little bit uh, greasy there. There we go. It's a little better. So here's Dead on Arrival 2. This was actually featured on NVIDIA's blog not too long ago. So the game uses uh, real real time uh, physics, and they have uh, real time shadows and cool dynamic lighting and stuff. Nice little raindrop effects and water effects. Oh, I think he shot them into ice or something. Try shooting these boxes. There you go. You can see the physics kind of coming into play there. They're moving around, very lifelike. Shot him in the head. Good job. Do you have any questions? Let's jump onto a different game. Pretty much get the gist of that. Oh, that's uh, how you, you switch between Tegra optimized view and not oh, view. Oh, okay. So look, right now it's looking very flat and ugly. <laughs> and you don't get the boxes or any of that cool stuff. And it's, the characters themselves don't look as nice and the floor looks all flat here, but... You can kind of see how when you switch between Tegra 4 optimized view and the other view, get rid of all those special effects, it just turns into something really uh, mobile looking. Alright, check out other games. Uh, Vampire Hunter. So Vampire Hunter is a, uh, it's called Carry Blood Mansion Tegra optimized of course. It's made by our developers NeoWiz. And it's kind of like a tower defense type game. Well, I guess not tower defense, but some type of defense. This girl is your tower, you're going to have a gang of enemies coming, so you kind of place around little blocks and stuff. Uh, traps, if you will, that will kind of hurt or kill the horde of uh, enemies that's to come. You only have so much gold to place so many traps, and then once you're ready, you hit the start button. See, I blocked the side, so they only come from the middle. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a big guy. Oh, big guys. See here, she's got a big old shotgun. We'll stop them, it'll make them slower. Yeah, the little fans there will turn them into ice. It cools them down and it moves them slower, so he has more time to uh, kill them there with the girl. Graphically, it looks very, very good. I mean, it looks super duper nice and clear. This one's kind of more of a cell shaded look, but uh, there's still tons of details like in the walls and stuff. Oh, uh, these crazy chicks. Go closer. I want to see them like how good they look. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, those guys are booking it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, where are you going? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop that. Okay, let's move on to a different game. Yeah, let's check out that golfing game because that one looked really cool. Um, golfing, Rue Golf. Now this is just, you know, a typical game, kind of like Hot Shots Golf on uh, the PlayStation, but the graphics on this are super nice. I mean, this one really wowed me besides this cute little underage girl there, but you can see like the detail on this little character here. Let me just zoom in there. I mean, she has real-time shadows, like, d dynamic lighting on her. Uh, look at the little, like, sheen. And, oh my gosh, that looks so cool looking. Ah, oh, that's so awesome. Uh, definitely, you know, PS3 Vita quality, if not better. I would say these graphics are better than maybe, like, the original. It may be in between an Xbox and an Xbox 360. Very awesome looking. And let it rip. How do you do this? Oh, okay. Click on? There you go, and boom. Oh, bad. Well, you have to, like, aim it right or something. Alright, so it's a 
golf yeah, game. Yeah, it's, it's a, a golf game, like and it looks cool. Yeah. Uh, Codex THD is one I've actually been wanting to see. This one was teased quite a while back, and it the graphics on this one in particular looked uh, really nuts. Another Neo is title. Oh, sweet Jesus! Oh, and it's down. Yeah, something happened. Burn zombies. Let's try it again. Just one more time. Let's get that. Few of the games have been uh, giving us some trouble here. It is a development build, so of course you want to keep that in mind. Alright. Oh, here we go. Oh, that is a nice looking man right there. That is a beautiful looking man. Oh, it's on. You got to do like swipes, and it's more like Infinity Blade. Oh, it's on, look. You, holy cow. Start already. Dem graphics. I mean, look at that enemy. That is just insane. What the? This has a NGFS connector. Uh, no, not, not sure. So the Wi Fi is on board. It's yours. This is a quick look at a handful of Tegra 4 optimized games with Banjo.com. I am Chris Chavez, Edgar Cervantes. See you next time.